Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Dan salam sejahtera Okay, welcome back to our lecture Power Systems BEJ 20603 Okay, chapter Balance Three Phase System Okay, so today we will discuss about uh, Three Phase Load Connection eh? uh, Subtopic 3.5 uh, Three Phase Load Connection Okay, so before we continue our discussion in detail on how to analyze three-phase uh, connection, so we try to summarize what we have discussed before, uh, especially uh, subtopic uh, 3.3, uh, 3.2 and 3.3. Okay, so we try to summarize. Okay. Okay. Before we discuss in detail about uh, analysis of uh, three phase uh, system, basically you have to understand eh, uh, what is Y connected system, what is delta connected system. Okay, number two, you have to understand what is the relationship between uh, voltage, phase voltage. Uh, line voltage in Y connected system as well as uh, line current and phase current in delta connected system okay I try to summarize in a, today we try to summarize okay for example okay look at to the Y connected system okay this is a Y or star connected system uh, from the circuit we can see we can see that uh, phase voltage is not equal to the Phase voltage is not equal to the line voltage, okay? But we can see that uh, phase current equal to line current. Phase current equal to line current. In delta connected three phase uh, source, we can see that phase voltage equal to line voltage, but line current is not equal to phase current. That's the main difference. Okay. So next we look at to the. Uh, Voltage relationship in star or Y connected source. Okay, this is a star or Y connected source. Let's say we have a Y connected source. Okay, so we know that in Y connected source, phase current equal to line current. Very clear. Okay, phase current. This is a phase current at the phase R equal to line current at the line R. Okay very easy and then very clear from the figure we can say that we can see that uh, phase current equal to line current but what is the relationship between phase voltage and line voltage okay so we assume in our in our previous analysis we assume that ryb sequence and vrn as a reference this is the phase voltage okay vrn vyn and vbn this is a reference voltage in balance three phase source it means that our magnitude is same and the uh, phase difference actually is 120 ryb means uh, y uh, ryb means ryn vyn followed vrn by 120 degrees and then followed by vbn by 120 degrees we can see we can see clearly from the phase diagram vrn vyn okay minus 100 uh, 20 degrees and then followed by VBN okay minus 240 degrees or positive 120 degrees okay so we already derived about the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage so we found that uh, line voltage the magnitude of the line voltage actually is higher than phase voltage uh, which is equal to square root 3 V phase okay square root 3 we face and then it shift to 30 degree okay positive 30 degree so we can see we can say that line voltage leads phase voltage by 30 degree okay line voltage leads this is a line voltage eh? vrn is a reference phase voltage line voltage leads phase voltage by 30 degree that's the characteristic okay it shows that uh, line voltage leads corresponding phase voltage by uh, 30 degrees similarly to the uh, y phase okay it leads this is a 
line voltage at the Y okay, leads the phase voltage by 30 degree. Okay, the magnitude of the line voltage, of course, higher than phase voltage, which is equal to square root 3 V phase. Okay, so uh, the last one actually for star or Y connected system, line current equal to phase current. Okay, that the summary for Y or star connected system or in this case Y connected source. Okay, number two, okay, uh, delta connected source. Okay, this is a delta. So from the circuit, we can see that line voltage equal to the phase voltage. Let's say we have a phase voltage uh, VRY, uh, in this case VRY, which is equal to the line voltage. Okay, but line current, is it equal to the phase current? Of course not. So what is the relationship between phase current and line current? Okay, in delta connection source. Let's say we have a reference. Uh, big, let's say we have a phase current as a reference in RYB sequence, IRY, okay, IYB and IBR, okay, IRY angle zero, IYB angle minus 120, IBR uh, magnitude I, okay, I angle positive 120 degrees. So the line current equal to, of course, line current is higher than phase current, okay, equal to line current equal to square root i phase okay square root i phase but the angle but angle the angle equal to minus 30 degree it, it shows that line current lacks phase current by 30 degree lacks okay lacks means mengeko eh? okay we can clearly uh, see from the see from the phase diagram let's say we have a phase current this is a phase current Okay, this is the phase current. Okay, IY. So, IR lacks phase current. Line current lacks phase current by 30 degree. Good. Okay. So, you can differentiate uh, the relationship between uh, line current and phase current for delta connected uh, source. Okay. So, we can conclude that line current is greater than phase current or equal to square root 3 i phase number 2 line current lacks phase current by 30 degree this is the important uh, characteristic for delta connected system okay so this is we analyze based on the source okay similarly if we have a, a load whether in y or star or in delta so the characteristic or behavior is same eh? is same okay so so this is the summary of the y connected system y connected source and delta connected source that you have to understand okay so we look at to the to our discussion for today okay we discuss about three phase load connection uh, system okay basically for three phase load connection for how to connect load to the source okay how about the three phase connection okay in source we have a y connected source we have a delta connected source similarly for the load we have a y connected load okay this is y but please bear in mind please remember uh, notation for the load we use the capital capital letter for example, phase R, we use capital R, capital Y, capital B. For the neutral, we use capital N. Okay. This is the notation for the load. Okay, load because load, we have an impedance. Huh? So, we use Z. Okay, Z1, Z2, and Z3. Okay, this is for Y connected load. Okay, similarly to the delta connected load. Okay, uh, we use notation of capital. Okay, for the for uh, we have a, a source side of the source okay or supply or the generator and then we have a load okay for the supply we use a small r small y small n and small b but for the load we use capital r capital y and capital b just to differentiate uh, between uh, load and source okay is it clear okay this is a delta connected load 
okay we have a uh, our z a z b sorry eh? this is a z a z b and z c okay not z b z b eh? this is z a z b and z c okay this is just impedance okay okay balance three phase load basically what is the meanings of balance three phase load okay balance three phase load okay either in y or delta connected load is one in which the basically is equal to the phase impedance are equal in magnitude okay balance means equal in magnitude each other okay z1 z2 z3 are equal in magnitude and equal in phase okay so uh, y and delta connected load is said to be unbalanced what is the meaning of unbalanced if the phase of impedance are not equal if the phase okay the phase impedance are not equal in magnitude or phase so the balance uh, system for y connected load we can we can write that uh, z1 equal to z2 equal to z3 which means equal in magnitude equal in impedance okay so we call it zy okay for the balance uh, y connected load Okay, for the balance Y connected load. Okay. Okay. For the balance delta connected load, we can say that VA as ZA equal to ZB equal to ZC. Okay. Equal in magnitude and angle. Equal in magnitude and phase. Phase or angle lah. Okay. So we call it Z delta. We call it Z delta for delta connected load. Okay. ZY for Y connected load. Okay, clear. Okay, next. Okay, so basically we have a delta connected load. Okay, delta connected load. ZA, ZB. Sorry, and this one should be A. Eh? This one should be A. So you can uh, revise your lecture slide. Eh? This this one should be A. Okay, let's say we have a ZA equal to ZB equal to Z delta. We call it Z delta because they are equal each other, equal in magnitude as well as in phase. Okay, angle. Okay. Okay, we can transform from delta to Y or Y to delta. You still remember how to transform from delta to Y, Y to delta? I, th I think you already uh, studied the... Y and delta transformation, especially for the load in electric circuit analysis, if I'm not mistaken. Eh? Okay, okay, this is for the Y connected load. Okay, we have, you have a Z1, Z2, and Z3, or we call it a ZY. Okay, for delta connected load, we call it Z delta. Okay, so how to transform? Let's say first you would like to transform for from the delta connected system, delta connected load to the Y connected load. Okay, this transform actually is useful for the three phase circuit analysis. We discuss in detail. We discuss the, the detail in the in the example in the next example. Okay, first of all, you have to understand the concept or the the equation. Okay, how to transform from delta to the y? Okay, do you still remember? Okay, if you have a z delta, this is z delta. Eh? This is the z delta. Z a equal to z delta. Z b equal to z delta. The z c equal to z delta. So z y, okay, z y, okay, to transfer to delta, delta connected system. Z y equal to one over three z delta, okay, one over three z delta. This is just a revision, okay. If you want to transform from the y to delta, okay. From the y to delta, from y to delta, so z delta equal to three times z y. That's the difference. This is one over three z delta, so z delta equal to three times z y. It's just a revision, eh? Okay. Okay. So you have to remember this one. Okay. So for the connection of the balanced three phase system. Okay, balance three phase system. Okay, previously we already discussed about uh, balance three phase source. Okay, source you have this one, Y connected, delta connected. Okay, similarly for load, 
we already discuss about why connected load delta connected load okay for the system what is the meaning of the system the system means combination of the source or generator and load okay we combine together become a one system we call it three phase system okay there are four possible connections of a uh, balanced three phase system number one uh, we call it YY connection what is the meaning YY connection it means that we have a Y connected source and then we have a Y connected load okay uh, in this topic we just discuss about balance condition in balance condition okay number two okay can you follow me okay number two we have a delta y connection in this case we have a delta source y load okay okay one and two we call it balance y connection load ah. okay y connection load okay number three we have a y source and we have a delta load we call it y delta connection number four we have a delta and delta connection okay delta and delta connection so this one we call it delta connection balance delta connection load okay so we have uh, four different types of four different um, configuration of balance three phase system okay so we try to discuss one by one okay so first of all uh, look at to the balance uh, yy system or star star system Okay, balance, uh, balance YY system. Okay, so balance YY system, this is the simple circuit configuration. You have a source in Y connected and then you have a load in Y connected. So, in this case, uh, we have a ABC. Okay, A, B, and C phase. Okay, so... To, don't confuse you will be use a b c or r y b still we have a three phase a b c or y b same phase eh? so how about the notation okay at the generator side we use the small a b and c okay so similarly to the phase voltage we use a v a n small a n n v b n and v c n at the load side we use a capital capital a capital B and capital C similarly to the neutral we use a capital N okay ZY Y capital and so on okay this is a line current IA IA at the source equal to IA at the load okay look at to the figure okay this is a neutral neutral current IB and IC okay we have a phase A, B, and C in this uh, similar to the phase R, Y, and B. Okay, so in balance Y, Y system, the current in the neutral line is zero. So the main characteristic of the balance system actually is I A plus I B plus I C equal to zero. I N equal to zero. I N equal to zero. This is the special characteristic of the balance system. I n equal to zero. Huh? If you calculate I a, I b, and I c to check your answer is correct or not, you just uh, sum I a plus I b plus I c, and if you got zero, it mean it means that your your calculation is correct. Ah, easy to check whether your answer is correct or not. Okay. Okay. Important point. Okay, pertepan neutral current equal to zero. Okay, so phase voltage. Let's say commonly we use uh, V A N as a reference. Okay, V P means V phase. Ah, eh? V phase, V phase. Sometimes we use uh, V phase like this. Ah, eh? V phase. Eh? V phase doesn't matter. It's just a notation. Some book they use a VP. Okay, VBN, VCN. This is a ABC sequence or RYB sequence. Okay, minus 120. We face angle positive 120. So V line for the Y connected system. V line equal to square root V face angle positive uh, 30. Okay, positive 30. 
okay it means that line current leads line voltage uh, for the y connected source huh? line current leads line voltage leads line voltage by 30 degree okay so how to determine the line uh, VAB VBC so magnitude is same equal to square root 3 V phase so angle just minus 130 degree 120 degree and for VCA you just plus 120 degree okay so how to determine current okay you can determine current by analyze the three phase single to the per phase system okay you just analyze for the one phase only just phase a okay phase a okay we have uh you can solve the you can determine current in phase a by using kitchoff voltage law okay you have this loop okay can you solve what is ia ia equal to v divided by z because voltage at a n equal to voltage at capital a and n okay similar point lah. so the voltage is same so ia equal to v a n divided by z y simple okay clear okay let's see the detail analysis okay hey, we assume we have a balance source ryb we have balance source ryb and then we have a and then we have a reference voltage in this case let's say we assume our reference actually is uh, VRN okay for for the load let's say we assume for the load we try to determine the relationship between line voltage and line current at the load side basically is same the, the relationship is same with the uh, Y connected source okay Y connected source the relationship Y connected load okay star connected load equal to star connected source okay we, we uh, in this slide we we try to prove okay let's say we have a reference vrn as a reference v angle zeros okay vyn as a ref equal to v angle uh, minus 120 degrees okay ryb sequence and vbn uh, equal to v angle 120 degrees okay let's say this is uh, our uh, phase voltage okay phase voltage at the load we try to uh, we try to prove what is the relationship between line voltage and line current at the load like what is the relationship okay 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 phase voltage this is the uh, this is the uh, phase load impedance at the balance is uh, balance load it means that z y z r n z phase equal to z z phase r n equal to z y n equal to z b n okay equal to each other we call it balance uh, load okay equal to z angle theta so per phase current how to determine current let's say uh, we have a voltage for current at the line r equal to vrn okay vrn this is our n divided by z rn z rn equal to z y or equal to z okay so you just solve this equation v divided by z so in this case you got v over z angle uh, minus theta okay similarly to iy this is uh, iy how to determine iy you have a uh, vyn so divided by z okay vyn divided by z okay this is the answer and then similarly to ib this is ib equal to v over z vbn vbn this is a vbn divided by Z. So you got a current. Okay, you got a current. Okay, current. Okay, this is a current IB. So next, what we can say that uh, from this uh, analysis, the result shows that a balance Y Y three phase system. Okay, so that in in a balance Y Y three phase system, 
the face load current are balanced okay face load current are balanced this is a face load current ir ir iy and ib this is a face load current okay this is a face load current ir iy and b are balanced what is the meaning of balance basically uh, balance means equal in magnitude you can see the magnitude is v over z v over z this one v over z okay this one v over z and this one v over z and then the face angle different actually is 120 120 120 so we can say that in balance system the current obtained in the balance system actually is balance current okay balance current means equal in magnitude face angle at 120 intervals that's uh, the conclusion that we can make from this analysis okay clear so you can draw the phase diagram you we have a, a line current okay we have a line current we already shows the line current line current the difference is 120 degrees each other r y b positive sequence so we have a vrn as a reference we have v r y b followed by v y n v b n so the current actually is followed phase voltage by theta okay which means that a line current lacks phase voltage okay by theta okay similarly to the phase one and phase b okay phase y and phase b so what we can say from this analysis okay the line current magnitude are equal and each line current lacks the respective line to neutral voltage which means that line current lacks the phase voltage line to near line to neutral voltage means phase voltage eh, by angle theta okay number two balance source voltage balance source voltage and balance load impedance produce or yield balance line and phase current okay produce balance line and phase current okay from this analysis this two point that we can conclude okay we can conclude okay let's try the example for the yy or star star connected system okay let's say given uh, source okay we have a y connected source balance system please bear in mind uh, we discuss about balance system okay y connected source okay and then y connected load okay balance load what is the meaning of balance load magnitude equal to angle okay this is in rectangular form okay if you convert to the into the polar form you will got you will get the magnitude and angle so magnitude and angle for each phase actually are equal to each other okay okay sama eh nombor dia sama Okay, so this is the voltage, phase voltage, uh, VAN, VBN, and VCN. Okay, so given Z, okay, for why I connect that system. So the question is, uh, calculate the, uh, obtain the line currents. Where is the line current? IA, phase A, phase B, and phase C. Okay, jangan confuse lah. Uh, sometimes we use uh, R, Y, B. Some books, uh, they use uh, A, B, and C. Okay, same. Okay, I, A, red, yellow, blue. Or some book they use A, B, and C. It's just on notation. Some book they use notation A, B, and C. Some book they use R, Y, and B. Okay, so the question is calculate the line current I, A, I, B, and I, C. Okay, so how to calculate? Okay, for the uh, balance three-phase uh, system, we can analyze this three-phase system according to the per unit, uh, according to the per phase analysis. Okay, first of all, okay, we convert our three-phase circuit to the per phase equivalent circuit. Okay, you have a phase A, you have a phase A, phase B. And then phase C, okay. You just calculate for the phase 
A only The rest you can uh, easily determine current for phase B and C Okay, this is the equivalent circuit for the phase A Okay, phase A This is the phase A We have a voltage source 440 volt angle 0 Okay, phase A Please bear in mind, this is a for phase A Phase A Okay, and then you have a Z equal to 6 minus J 8 ohms Okay, ZY Okay, using per phase circuit shown above so you can easily determine what is IA. This is IA. Ah, what is IA? Okay, quite simple, lah. Eh? Ah, mudah rupanya. Three phase analysis. Oh, susah nak tulis A. Ya. Okay, this IA. Okay. Ah, simple lah. Walaupun three phase analysis simple. Okay, you just solve ah uh, kecil voltage law. Okay, sebenarnya voltage kat sini equal to voltage ada lah. Very simple, yeah. So IA equal to V A N phase voltage. Make sure eh, this is a phase voltage, ah, uh, not the line voltage. Phase voltage V A N phase voltage V. Oh, susah nak buat A yeah. V A N. Okay, phase voltage. Z also phase impedance. Okay, so IA equal to V phase voltage V. A N V small A N equal to V capital A N N sama okay phase voltage so V divided by Z Y so you will get answer just just use your calculator okay you can try now how to use your calculator okay then you can find I A equal to forty four angle fifty three point one three degree ampere I A Okay, so you just analyze for IA. So for IB, this is IB. Okay, this is IC. For IB and IC, you know that the in balance system, in balance system, IB will follow IA, okay, by 120 degree. IB follow IA by 120 degree. So in balance system, magnitude is same. So IB magnitude is same But angle equal to 53.13 Minus 120 degree So you, you will get Minus 66.87 degree ampere Okay Simple there eh? And then IC Okay you know that interface system IC uh, Angle equal to You need to plus 120 So Magnitude is same, 44 angle equal to 53 Okay, 53 plus 120 degree Okay, this one you minus yeah. This one you minus Okay, this one you minus Okay, is it clear? Uh, you just analyze for IA then you just analyze for IA Then you can easily determine IB And IC Okay That's the way how to Determine current in three phase System Okay Okay next look at to the To the Example 3.6 Okay also in YY connected system Okay which means that you have a Y Source and then you have a Y load Okay For the circuit For the Y Y circuit Find Number 1 Find the line current And then Number 2 Find the line voltage Find the line voltages And Number 3 Find the Load voltages Okay Load voltages Okay So given V Given Phase voltage V Small a and n. What's the meaning? It means that the phase voltage at the generator at the source because small lah, small a and n. V a n v a n equal to phase voltage equal to two hundred twenty angle zero. Okay, this is phase sequence or neg uh, this is a positive sequence or negative uh, phase sequence. Okay, a 
B and C. So positive sequence. Okay. Okay. Minus 120 and plus 120. This is a phase uh, ABC sequence or positive sequence. And then load equal to ZY uh, 10 plus J5. Okay. 10 plus J5. So first of, all, first of all, what you need to do? How to, how to determine currents? How to determine current? IA, IB, and IC. How to determine currents? Okay, we can do the per phase analysis. Okay, you have a three different circuit. You just calculate for the one phase. You just analyze for the one phase. The rest you can uh, find the answer according to the balance system. Okay. Okay. So, from the three phase circuit, you convert to the per phase equivalent circuit. This one we call it per phase equivalent circuit. Okay, you analyze for the sorry you analyze for the phase a or phase right okay v a n this is a v a n this is a z y you have a z y and then how to determine line current based according to the kitchen voltage law this is a i a this is your i a so i a equal to v a n divided by z y v a n divided by z y v divided by z Okay, you just use your scientific calculator. You'll you'll get the answer. I A equal to nineteen point sixty eight angle minus twenty six point five six degree ampere. This is the I A. So for I B, no need to do the uh, circuit analysis. We know that in 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 balanced three phase system, okay, we have a same magnitude. But the the with the uh, phase shift phase shift equal to 120 degree, okay. In ABC sequence, so IB equal to magnitude same as IA, but the angle equal to you need to minus 120 degree, okay. 26.56 minus 120 degree, okay. Minus 120 degree, you will got this answer. And then for the IC, you have a same magnitude, but the but the angle you you need to plus 120 degree, which means that minus 26.56 degree plus 120 degree, you will got the, you will get this answer. Okay, clear. That one is the line current. So the next question is question number two. Calculate the line currents. Eh, sorry, line voltage. Calculate the line voltage. Uh, line voltage kat mana? In this case, line voltage at the source. Eh? VAB. Okay, VAB. Given phase voltage. Okay, you know that. Uh, line voltage equal to square root 3 times V phase angle 30. Angle 30 eh, for the wire connected uh, system. Angle 30. So, we got the answer. For the phase B, VAB, VBC, we have uh, the same magnitude, but the difference actually is the phase angle, minus 20, uh, minus 120. 30 minus 120 equal to minus 19, minus 90. And then VCA equal to same magnitude, but the angle equal to 30 plus 120, or 30 minus 200. 40 so you will got uh, minus 210 degree volt okay this is the line voltage this is a line voltage okay you can follow okay what line voltage at the source at the generator the next question question number three actually is you need to calculate the load voltages load voltages load at the phase a phase b and phase c Okay, so how to calculate voltage? You have current, you have IA, you have uh, IB, and then you have IC, as well as you, ha you have a Z. So you can determine, you can easily determine voltage because VAN equal to IA times ZY. Okay, which is equal to voltage at the source. Okay, sama kan? V a n small a n equal to v capital a n okay sama so no need to calculate lah 
Okay, if you calculate IA times ZY Sama juga dengan 220 angle 0 Okay, it's given eh Given, yeah Sama Yeah You can try VBN equal to IA IA times Z Okay, we got this answer Similarly to this one VCN Okay, VCN You can try Okay Okay, so how about IN? What is the value of IN? In balance three phase system, IN equal to equal to. From here you can see that IN equal to IA plus IB. Sorry, eh? B plus IC. Just catch off current law eh? At this point Or at this point Sama je Okay So Try to Add IA, IB and IC What is the answer? Just use your Your scientific calculator You Calculate IA Plus IB And plus IC The answer should be Zero Because in three phase In balance three phase system Neutral current Equal to Zero Okay, so easy lah for you to check whether your answer is correct or not. You just uh, sum all the IA, IB, and IC. If your answer equal to zero, which means that your calculation for IA, IB, and IC is correct. Okay. Okay. Next we have the uh, next example. Okay, we have we have the next example. Okay. Okay, last example eh Last example for the YY sister Look at to the last example Let's say Example 3.7 Let's say we have a balance 400 volt 3 phase supply Is connected across a balance load Of 3 impedances Is consisting of 32 ohms resistance R And uh, 24 ohms Inductive rectance Okay This is a Supply voltage Which means that line voltage eh? Line voltage Okay This is your R load And this is your X SL Okay so question number one Determine the current Drawn from the power means Or from the power supply If the three phase impedances Are Y connected Ah, So the question is Determine the current drums from the means of or from the supply okay your impedance actually in y connected so your supply is 400 volt means line voltage okay please remember eh? line voltage and then number two draw the phasor diagram draw the phasor diagram okay and then using vrn as a reference okay in this case vrn voltage at the load as a reference Okay, in RYB sequence. Okay, that's the in, the important information for this uh, for this question. So, what you need to do, you need to draw all the information in the circuit. Okay, you have a ZL. ZL is given. ZL. The line voltage is equal to 400, and then the reference actually is VRN. So you need to write the uh, reference voltage. Okay, reference voltage. Okay. We have a uh, load impedance in balanced uh, balance load impedance V Z R N equal to uh, Z Y N equal to Z B N equal to this one. Okay, you just convert eh? You just convert from the question in rectangular form to the polar form. Just use your calculator. Okay, I think no problem eh? Okay, so how about the magnitude? Uh, how about the phase voltage? You have a line voltage equal to 400. Magnitude of phase voltage equal to 400 divided by square root 3. Okay. Clear. V phase equal to V line divided by square root 3. Okay. Square root 3. In 3 phase, we have a square, square root 3. Okay. Okay. So next, you can determine the reference. Okay. 
the phasor line to the neutral phase voltage this is our reference v phase angle 0 ryb vyn okay angle minus 120 okay 120 this is 0 minus 120 yb okay magnitude same and angle equal to positive 120 sometimes they write negative 240 tak ada masalah sama je eh sama je Okay, sama je. Okay. Then, you can determine IRN. Okay. From the load, you have a load. Okay, you can analyze based on the per phase analysis. Per phase analysis. Okay, you can click for the phase, phase R only. VRN. Okay, V, this is your R, let's say. Phase R, this is your R, this is your neutral point and common point. So here, VRN, sorry, VRN, here, so this is your IR, okay, IR, or IRN equal to V divided by Z, okay, you just analyze for IR, this is IR, or IR to N, doesn't matter, sometimes we just write, uh, sometimes we, we just write the IR, uh, IR, eh. IR. Sambut dia di 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 right yeah, IRN. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so IR equal to 5.77 angle minus 36.84. So, no need to calculate for no need to analyze the circuit based on phase Y and phase B. You just use the balance relationship. Okay, for balance relationship, we know that IY equal to the uh, same magnitude but the angle but the angle equal to okay IR angle you need to minus with the 120 degree for IB you need to plus 120 degree okay you will got the answer IYN IY IY and IB okay is it clear this is the phase current Okay, in this case, phase current equal to line current at the load. Okay, you have a IRN, IR, IY, and IB. Then you need to draw the phasor diagram. You need to draw the phasor diagram. So you, we have a voltage. In order to draw the phasor diagram, okay, you 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 need to draw the phasor diagram for the voltage as a reference, and then for the current we have a voltage we have current so we have a voltage so voltage higher end uh, vyn vbn okay then you draw for the current current in this case line current equal to phase current okay this is the phase diagram you draw make sure you draw okay don't forget to the don't forget to label all the information and then write all the important information okay vrn irn the value angle and so on okay is it clear okay so okay okay we have another example maybe you can look at this example okay okay Okay, we discussed the last example. Eh? Okay, this is last example for the Y connected load. Okay, for the Y Y system. Eh? Okay, example 3.8. Okay, example 3.8. Make sure eh? kamu kena buat. Eh? Keluarkan kertas dan cuba buat. One by one. Okay, you try buat. Okay. Okay, first read the question. Okay, a four wire three phase supply. Okay, take note. Four wire three phase supply is connected to a balanced three phase load. Okay, the connection been three phases plus a neutral conductor. Three phase plus neutral conductor. What is the meaning? You have a Y connected. Y je yang ada neutral. Delta tak ada neutral kan? Y connected load. Okay, if VRN equal to 240 
angle 0 degree and ZL equal to 10 angle 30, degree, 30 degrees ohm the phase sequence is RYB RYB and find IR, IY and IN ok find IR, IY and IB sorry IR, IY, IB and IN ok neutral current neutral current ok ok first of all what you need to do ok you need to write the ok what you need to do you need to determine the reference voltage what is the reference voltage is VRN ok ok VRN VYN VBN ok so you can determine current for the phase R ok for the phase R for the phase R VRN equal to IR equal to VRN divided by Z ok VRN you have a VRN 240 angle 0 divided by ZL so you get the IR ok from the IR you can determine IY IY just minus 120 degree okay, just minus 120 degree okay and then you can determine IB magnitude is same you just plus 120 degree sorry you just plus sorry yeah. you just plus 120 degree sorry lah tak cantik eh guna mouse eh susah juga guna mouse ni sebenarnya ok ok you just plus 120 degree so minus 30 plus 120 equal to positive 90 degree appear so you got IR, RYY and IB very straightforward very easy lah ok then neutral what is the neutral IN equal to IR plus IY plus IB and then you plus IR you have IR plus IY plus IB ok we know in balance refuse system I neutral equal to 0 ok you just use your calculator you sum all the IR IY and IB you will get IN neutral current equal to 0 which means that your answer for IA and IB, IB and IC I sorry your answer for IR IY and IB is correct ok clear Okay, clear. So next, draw the phasor diagram. Okay, draw phasor diagram for voltage. Voltage. This is your reference voltage. I VRN. Okay, phase voltage. Okay, VRN, VYB, and VBR. Voltage at the load, and then you already calculate IR, IY, and IB. Make sure you ok label the information IR VR and then put the angle put the angle eh? put the angle don't forget to put the angle this one ok I think similarly for this one ok this angle 120 and then this angle is 240 or you can put this angle 120 ok Okay, I think that's all for uh, YY system. Okay, we have so many examples, I think. I hope you can understand uh, how to analyze the YY system. If you understand how to analyze YY system, I think you don't have... Uh, uh, so, you can easily understand uh, how to analyze Delta Y system, Delta Delta system, uh, atau or delta y system ok you can easily to analyze another three type of uh, circuit configuration ok that's why in this subtopic we uh, I try to explain to you how to analyze the yy system by using a uh, few examples ok so in order to ensure that you can easily understand how to analyze the system ok so let you can try by your own how to solve this exercise you can do 
exercise okay how to solve the how to solve this question okay let's say you have a star connected three phase load you have star connected three phase load this is a load r and this is a sl connected to a 400 volt okay 400 volt four wire three phase supply okay when we call where when they put this information 415 volt four wire three phase supply three phase supply what's the meaning of 415 volt is it phase current or line current ah make sure uh, please take note eh? 450 actually is line current line current eh? so line current okay so write the write the phase expression for the voltages across each branch for the line voltages and for the line currents when the phase sequence is ryb which means that you need to calculate the voltage of each branch voltages of each branch and line for each branch number one you assume ryb sequence okay ryb sequence and then you determine voltage and current you determine voltage here and current okay voltage here and current in ryb sequence okay you determine IR, IY, IB, VRN, VYN, VBN for RYB sequence and then you repeat again for RBY sequence for negative sequence and then you use VRN as a reference ah. commonly we use VRN ah, as a reference okay so you can try by your own and solve uh, this exercise okay I think that's all for today uh, so basically what we can uh, summarize today uh, we discuss about how to analyze the why what uh, we discuss about uh, three phase circuit configuration we have four types of configuration so today we analyze for the type one for the configure for the why why uh, system we analyze how to determine current basically we try to determine line current okay we try to determine the line current so i hope you understand uh, how to analyze how to calculate the line current for the yy connected system okay i think that's all for today okay see you uh, again for the three for other three types of uh, circuit connection okay that's all for today okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Okay, that's all.